Hey everyone, um, it's been like a year since I last posted anything on this account, so I decided that I would update you guys with uh, three heads that you haven't seen before. This one is not necessarily new because the base was made a year ago and I started sewing this stuff early this year and just kind of gave up on this because I just lost interest. Um, but this guy is kind of inspired by a dog at this place I volunteered at and he obviously wasn't blue, but I mean, he was kind of the inspiration. But I'm selling this guy for roughly $100, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, it just depends. But um, he comes with this, like, as you see it. Um, I mean, I, I could probably just leave in the pins and stuff if you really do want those pins that are keeping the fur in place. Um, he comes with this tail that's really long. However, the, the um, end of it's not fully sewn off, but that's going to stay how it is. I'm not going to edit any of this. And then he's going to come with um, maybe half, I think it's like half a yard of each type of fur. So this type, this type, and this type of fur, but I could be wrong and I'll figure that out. This is how the inside looks and um, yeah, it's got some room for breathing and stuff, but it's really just not top notch quality. So that's what this guy is. Um, he's got the inside of his tongue. It's all blotched like that. Um, but yeah, so this is um, what you would get from this guy. But this is not my newest creation. And neither is the next one. However, it is newer. So I'll show you that. So this is the next guy that I have. Um, he was made this year. The base was made this year. And it's all the sewing has been made this year. It was maybe a month, a month and a half ago that I started this guy. Um, he's almost done. Or she. Um... Um, all I need to do is finish sewing the ear, which is down here. I'm sewing it right now. But um, cut out this, sew that together, and then glue everything down. And it's done. So it should be done before Christmas. Basically, the inside of the mouth looks like this. Um, there's fleece used, and I'm going to line this um, so that you don't see the uh, glue and the harsh line right there. Um, the eyes are made... They are not made with foamies, and the lining is actually made with um, felt. Um, so yeah, there's that. It's almost done, like I said. It should be done by next week. I should hopefully finish it actually within the next two days. So be on the lookout for maybe a video saying um, that it's done, or a link in the description which will be updated when it's up for sale. The only problem that I see with this head right now is that, um, well, two things. Um, one, the, around the muzzle, it's just a little bit bumpy, just because, um, when I was putting it on, I burned myself, so I had to go deal with that, and I couldn't really fix it without tearing anything. So, um, it's just, there's a little bump right here that you can kind of see. Um, I'm going to shave this down once everything is glued down and completely done. So, the shaving should be a little bit better. And then the only other thing is that I accidentally cut the fur going down, so when um, you brush it, the fur bunches like this. Not bunches, but it comes together like this. So that's the only really problem. Um, you would need a balaclava with this. Yeah, so that's the second head. And yeah, that's the improvement I've made so far, but there is another one that I have that I feel is even better than this one. Um, because I learned a lot when making this one on how to do everything and how to sew everything and how to do the tongue inside of the mouth, the eyes, the nose, kind of. I haven't really worked on the nose on the other one yet. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'll show you that one. All right, so this one is the last one, the most recent one. Um, I literally made the base, I think, like three days ago. Um, and uh, yeah, so the inside of the mouth has the teeth completed. I've never done teeth inside um, any of my fursuits actually until today. Um, and the little tongue with the line. Um, the eyes were made a bit differently. Um, don't know if you can really see, but like if you look under here, you can see that the um, the fleece it comes out to right here. And basically what I did was I just lined all the way around here and made a huge like circle practically. And then I just kind of tape um, tapered it, I think's the word, um, to where it would um, fit around the eye to the curves, and then I glued it down. So um, everything is glued in, and basically I just need to tape. I have to do the top of the um, mouth, but that will not take long at all. 
So this is the most recent one. This one should be done maybe in the next month. Um, just depends on how quickly I can sew everything and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, those are the heads that I have. Um, this one will be for sale within a month or two. This one, hopefully within the, this next week. And this one is for sale. And I will put a link in the description of where you can buy that. And yeah, so that's these heads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.